Good morning. We're going to go ahead and throw on the wheel today. I'm going to show you how to center your clay first and get everything ready that you need. So I've got a one pound ball of white clay here that I've wedged on the wedging table and I've got my bat which attaches to the wheel head. This is optional. Um, we have a couple of these. It just keeps your uh, bat from moving around too much. So I'm going to place this onto the wheel head. I also have a bowl of, of hot water, a sponge, a wooden rib tool, a needle tool, which I'm going to take out of there. And the only other thing I don't have is a wire, so I will need one of those. Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure that my wheel is going counterclockwise because I'm right-handed. So I want my wheel to be going counterclockwise. If I'm left-handed, my wheel is going to be going clockwise. So I'm going to put this piece of clay down onto the wheel head. This is the wheel head. I'm going to scoop myself all the way up onto my stool. And I'm going to get as close to this as possible. My foot pedal is in a comfortable position down here. And I am ready to throw. So. When I'm starting to throw and center this, uh, the hardest part uh, is going to be the centering. And once I get that down though, I can do a lot of different things uh, as far as throwing. And I'm gonna go pretty fast when I'm centering this. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on there. My clay should always be flowing through my hands at all times. I shouldn't feel any resistance. When I am centering, I'm gonna get my wheel going pretty quickly not full blast, but pretty quick. And then I'm gonna take my foot off of the pedal. I'm going to put my right elbow onto my thigh and my right hand is going to be anchored. I'm going to push with my right hand into the clay. If this was a clock, I would be about at four or five o'clock. So if you imagine a clock, turn this off for a minute, and I was looking at it, and this is six o'clock right here, and this is three o'clock. I'm gonna be right in between there when I'm throwing this, when I'm centering this. So I'm gonna get going here, a little bit of water on there. My right hand is, my elbow's on my thigh. My right hand is gonna go in. Whoops, there goes my clay. If that happens, I'll try to catch it, just let it go. <laughs> okay, put it back on there. And then my left hand is going to be on the top here. So I'm gonna get this going again. Okay. And I'm gonna use my right hand to push in, my left hand to push down. Go a little bit faster. What I'm trying to do is make this so it doesn't move like this. If I can feel my hands moving like this, that means it's not quite centered. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cone this up, so I cone like this, I'm just pushing and coning it up, then I'm going to push it back down. Okay, I'm going to bring it back up. This is aligning all my clay particles. Notice I'm using water when I need it. I shouldn't feel any resistance in my clay, and then I'm going to push it back down. it up. Notice how my right elbow is still on my thigh at all times. My left elbow is out. This is really my anchor arm though. I need to have that anchored at all times. Okay, this is centered. So the way that I can tell is that I'm going to put my hands on this and they're not doing this, are they? It just looks like my hands are stationary. They're just sitting there. And that is how you center your clay.